I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, taking a break from Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a beautiful game, but a little long. And as I had mentioned in a previous video, that I was planning on switching games. I have returned to the world of Skyrim. Yes, I love this game greatly. I did a series of videos using Xbox 360 and possibly some capture devices. This time it's on my Xbox Series X. It is just insane. What I did is I bought the Xbox One version of Skyrim and loaded it up to Xbox Series X and then it updated just look at the detail and the beauty of this game. This is why I still love Skyrim. Now, I'm going to be doing some videos, redoing some videos, and basically trying to do different videos that I've done before. But this one is redoing a mammoth hunt. And the reason I'm doing this mammoth hunt at a very low level is it upgrades your character's archery skill and upgrades your character very quickly in a way. And having a mammoth tusk to give to Yzold and possibly marry her. I did a video on that in my old series because you get a free house. But I'm doing things a little different this time in Skyrim. I am not going to exploit the invisible treasure chests. So let's get on with this mammoth hunt. As I showed in a previous video of a mammoth hunt at a low level, there is a rock, and that rock is key. You can see the mammoth standing right next to it. You jump on that rock, and you uh, fire arrows at the mammoth. You can move back and forth to try and lure the mammoth back to you and play cat and mouse but in the end the mammoth does walk away if you get too far back and it has no opportunity to attack you now i'm using a longbow and iron arrows i made a ton of iron arrows and now i'm just going to start attacking the mammoth As you can see, my character Kelvin pulls back and the mammoth turns around and tries to run away. But if he moves forward a certain point, the mammoth is going to turn around and try and kill Kelvin. It's a very long process, so I'm going to do some fast forwarding. If you need to, you can jump off the rock and try and get the mammoth to come back towards you. Eventually, you will need healing potions and a handheld weapon to finish off the mammoth. Again, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. As you can see, Calvin has worked down the mammoth's health to a very minimal amount, but the mammoth keeps regenerating. At some point, the minor amount of damage you do by an arrow is going to be overwritten by the mammoth's healing factor. And so you will have to eventually approach the mammoth using a handheld weapon and do damage and better have some healing potions, otherwise the mammoth will win. As you can see, I've switched my character to two Imperial Swords. Kelvin is going to be a dual wielder 
which is a lot harder than you think at a lower level. The Mammoth is going to attack, and Kelvin is waiting for an opening to fight. As you can see, the Mammoth will take Kelvin down very quickly, a couple strikes, so healing potions, and then you can finish off the Mammoth. Going to check to see how to level up Kelvin. Yes, uh, stamina I'm going to add to, and it's only one extra level. But now I can spend a perk point on archery here, and bows do 20% more damage. The next one will be critical shot. Um, I'm doing hand to hand, and the dual fury, I think. Okay, I got another perk point I want to spend, and now I'm going to spend it on, nope, only one perk point, and I'm going to put it on archery. And as you see, Kelvin has um, been increased slightly. I'm going to do a quick save, and then get Kelvin back to giving uh, Yzold the Mammoth Tusk. And why? Well, now she's available to marry, and you get that free house. I've done other ways of doing things in Skyrim to get free stuff. I'll cover a little bit here in the video, another way in which you can store free stuff in Skyrim. Now I'm going to fast travel over to Whiterun and talk to you as old. One of the things I'll say about this version of Skyrim is the load screens are extremely quick. They're about a third or even a fifth of the time that the Xbox 360 took to load. I used to edit out the load screens. In this case, it is extremely fast. There is Yzold, and let's talk to her. I spent... Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Chops and steaks fit for a yarl. About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. And there you go. You have one option to marry with Yzold. And the next option will be Carlotta Vale or whatever, the woman in the River Run. Um, pawn shop or shop, and that will be another adventure. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave comments. I love comments and I respond to them. And if you like this type of video, well, I post four of them every week. And you need to hit the subscribe button and bell icon in order not to miss out. Well, again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, 
And as always, thanks for stopping by.